Hi, my name is Rusty. I'm an education officer with Water New South Wales. We're investigating how to use siphons to get water to where it matters. In this investigation, we'll demonstrate how water can be transported for use without any pumps using a siphon. A siphon is usually a tube or a pipe and it moves water from one place over a hill to another place that's lower using gravity. To do this experiment at home, you'll need a packet of flexible reusable silicon drinking straws, a roll of electrical tape or duct tape, some scissors, a tall water container, a shorter water container, some blue dye so that the water stands out, a breadboard so you can put the taller container up a little bit higher than the other one, and a cloth for soaking up any spills. Next we're going to join two straws together so they make one longer straw. Uh, two straws. We need to cut a piece of sticky tape, lie it down sticky side up. You might need an adult to help you with this. Carefully seal around the straws. There must be no air gaps at all or the siphon won't work. Push the long flexible straw into the toilet container when it's nearly all the way in. Block the end of the straw with your finger. Make sure that you keep one end of the straw in the water. Lift it over the top. What happens when you take your finger off? The water that was trapped in the straw starts to flow out using gravity. It continues to siphon the water out of the toilet container. Challenge, why not make a super siphon? Test this experiment outside with a bucket and try to siphon water onto pot plants or other plants in the garden. If you enjoyed this activity, check out our website. We've got lots of fun stuff on there. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.